This is a real story of a 14-year-old girl. For the sake of privacy and as per medical ethics, I am going to withhold the personal details of the patient and family. Her name could be Tamanna or perhaps Asha, both of which mean hope. A girl with dreams, with hopes, with aspirations of going to school, making friends, going to college, going to become a successful woman, a loving wife, a caring mother. Yes, she is just like any other girl, a girl just like your own child. This is a story of how her life changed forever, all thanks to pseudoscience. Before we get into that story, I would like to thank Dr. Abby Philip and Dr. Arif Hussain for the kind permission to turn the case history into a video. It is my sincere request that my viewers share this video with others. Hello, I am Anand and I welcome you to Pale Blue Thoughts, the channel which promotes scientific temper and denounces pseudoscience. Research is an indispensable component of science. It is at the end of these tedious research processes that the findings and evidence are published in various scientific journals. Such breakthrough scientific information and findings that happen in a corner of this world is published so that it can reach more specialists who can use that knowledge as well. In this way, every year in the field of science, thousands of scientific papers are published on diverse subjects in hundreds of scientific journals. Since such publications are highly technical and mostly are accessible only to the specialist, the general public is always ignorant about all this. Instead, what they are exposed to are the news articles and press conferences which are often far from reality. The public is in fact deceived to believe that testimonies and anecdotes are the real evidence than the researched, peer-reviewed and published scientific data. That is why it is big news when a doctor claims in the news that a nasal glucose spray can stop COVID-19 or why people believe in homeopathy as a treatment choice for infertility or why they believe Ayurveda can cure jaundice and other diseases. Dr. Abhi and Dr. Arif are involved in one such clinical research center and they have already published a lot of research papers in the past few years. One such case report was recently published in the Oxford Medical Case Reports. The study was headed by Dr. Syriac Abbey Phillips, a hepatologist popularly known as the liver doc. The aim of this channel coincides with the thoughts of Dr. Abbey and Dr. Arif, which is to try and explain research materials in simple terms to the public so that they can get a glimpse of the actual reality. A reality that stands way above the testimonies and anecdotes that one comes across in our daily life. Now let us get into the details of their study. A study in which a girl was almost killed by Ayurveda. Alcoholic liver disease is an infamously known disease condition both to the doctors and the public alike. It requires no particular elaboration at this point of time. At the same time, treating such disease condition has improved dramatically by the advent of modern medical science. Liver transplantations are now saving patients affected with such conditions on a daily basis. Recently, a 14-year-old girl was presented to the OPD of Dr. Abby with liver disease. A very young liver patient with persistent jaundice and fluid collection in the abdomen known as ascites. Her father stood beside silently, a telling face with the agony of his child losing a precious childhood. A 14-year-old girl with a liver disease. What could have caused it? Dr. Abby and his team started the investigation one after the other. They were determined to leave no stone unturned. At the end of the day, when her first liver biopsy report arrived, it brought them great worry. The histopathological images in the report were similar to that of a fulminant alcoholic liver disease along with the features of non-serotic portal hypertension. They started investigating the possibilities that caused such an imagery in a 14-year-old girl. The first thing that they checked was if there were any other medications that the child might have been taking. And there they hit the jackpot. As she had been suffering from seizures for several years, it was revealed that she was taking medications for it. Modern medications were the first to be used until she had a relapse of seizures even after the medications. So as usual, her relatives suggested alternative therapies and finally she was led to a CNS Ayurvedic clinic in Palakkad, Kerala. The family informed the doctors 
that the child was on Ayurvedic concoctions for several years and was still on them. It was also noted that cheeses were less relapsing after its usage. They asked them to produce those so-called medicines which were sent for clinical analysis in a certified laboratory. The team of doctors waited impatiently for the chemical analysis reports. As they saw the reports, the gravity of the problem escalated. It was found that the Ayurvedic concoctions on which the child was on for so long contained ethyl alcohol, several plant chemicals, organic and inorganic toxic substances, poisons like arsenic and what is more, the presence of clonazepam, a drug that is given in modern medical science for seizures. It was not just the cocktail of toxic substances that was revealed in the analysis, but it also shed light on why the child had a reduction of seizures while taking the Ayurvedic mixture, the presence of clonazepam. Here was a clear example of how Ayush treatments like Ayurveda take advantage of people's faith and their vulnerability and how they claim to cure diseases. The child was asked to stop the Ayurvedic portions immediately and instead was put on modern medicines with precise dosage for seizures and other medicines for liver disease. Six months later, to their relief, a second liver biopsy showed the disappearance of alcohol-related liver disease. But what was left were the signs of non-serotic portal hypertension, which is a classic manifestation of arsenic poisoning. It is also worth noticing here that clonazepam is not a hepatotoxic, which is an established scientific fact. That means there is no scientific evidence for clonazepam being destructive or damaging to the liver. So it must have been the other ingredients in the concoction that must have caused it. Out of all that, ethyl alcohol and arsenic stands out. In order to confirm that this resultant liver disease was due to chronic arsenic exposure, the fingernails and their hair strands of the child, parents and her siblings were sent for chemical analysis. The results again proved the arsenic exposure in the child, which reported significant levels of arsenic in her samples, which were not found in any of the other family members. Further genetic studies were also performed to rule out genetic causes of liver disease. And yes, it was finally confirmed the high level of arsenic in the Ayurvedic concoctions were the reason for her liver disease. The team did their best to make the family understand how Ayurveda nearly killed their daughter by resorting to unproven, adulterated and crude Ayurvedic preparations to treat diseases like seizures for which Modern medicine has well laid repertoire of medications to lead a normal life. The family was also informed that the toxic effects of the chronic arsenic exposure is going to linger on her for a lifetime and can even cause cancers in future. So the importance of periodical investigations and follow-up was clearly explained. It is indeed disheartening that little children like this girl and her family are being made scapegoats in such avoidable events. Her dreams, her hopes, her aspirations all have been stonewalled due to the belief in an untested, unproven, unscientific alternative medicine system. The sad fact is that these systems are actually promoted by the government, thereby squandering the public exchequer and all of our money, the taxpayers' money, apart from causing damage to thousands of people. Let there be no more such tamannas or ashas. Stay away from unscientific, untested, unproven, unreliable methods of treatment. Stay away from Ayush. The entire study report has been shared in the description box for those who wish to read it. If you find this information useful, please share it to your friends and family so that people are aware. I trust you will do that. I shall be back soon with yet another video. Until then, it's bye-bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.